Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody. Well, I'm just playing some Guild Wars 2, and uh, I thought I'd do what I did uh, the last time on my uh, Guardian class. Just go ahead and do kind of a kind of a kind of a rundown and how my uh, Engineer class works. I did I did a video of this once before, but it was in a PvP lobby, so it was in a very sterile environment. But I thought I would go ahead and um, actually do a do a video of this guy in the field. Um, this guy is my engineer, in case I didn't say so, and um. He is my main. So, before I continue on, I'm going to go ahead and throw on some music real quick. It's going to be uh, Patagonia, Ascira, um, just music from the southern part of South America. And hold on, I messed up. Okay, there we go. So, I guess we'll... But like I said, um... The events leading up to the world boss, they're only going to be up for, it's going to be up like real shortly, so I kind of have to explain quickly. Um, his main weapon is the flamethrower, and um, his uh, other sidearm are probably one of, if not the all-time favorite weapon in any game. It's the uh, mortar gun. Ready. Here they come. Oh. Just a delay to explain that, um, the world boss events have started, and as you can see here, we've already gotten off to a bad start. But I, um, as you can see here with this flamethrower, oh, uh, got another guy using it. One of my favorite things about this is it doesn't require a target. I don't have to, I don't have to tab target. Unlike a lot of other weapons in most other games, you ain't gotta. You don't need a target for this weapon. Oh, come on. I can hit him just fine. See the white numbers going up? here and there's gonna be one more uh, big old icicle that's gonna drop but again as you can see here mortar gun that I was trying to talk about earlier. Same thing. In fact, this weapon here is manually aimed. Hey, lay down. One thing I do need to change. Um, I'm... Yeah, I won't be able to do it here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to switch back. Oh no, um, I totally did this clap, did this video by the seat of my pants, totally on a whim. So I didn't really, um, didn't really prepare much. He's gonna cast spear three times, so I'm gonna stay mounted until he's done with all of them. And uh, and yes, there is gonna be a lot of dying on this. Unless everybody here is on the ball. Holy sh the way it's looking right now, um, I think we're gonna have to do another phase. Nope, maybe not, maybe not. 
Okay, we got the, we got the dragon down under or below 50%, so there shouldn't be another phase. kind of thing in a lot of other MMOs I've played, especially open world content. Oh, I think we're going to kill him. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But anyway, um... Yes, it's on here. Actually, let me look at the um let me look at my world boss timers. Okay, so So, but like I was saying, that engine the engineer is my main um, it's my favorite class in this game. Little, little bit of a review. It, he has, uh, two of my, uh, all-time favorite weapons in any other game. Mostly because they don't require, they don't require a target. So. And then, for those that don't know, the way the Engineer class works is as far as, uh, weapon options go, they're actually very limited. Like he can only use, I mean, he can only use uh, a couple pistols or a rifle. Um, shield. I don't. I don't think the core. I don't think the core version of engineer can equip one, but I might be wrong. But I think their main options is either pistols or a rifle, and that's it. Very limited. What do? But they make up for that. By being given a, a bunch of other options, like what I'm my main my main weapon, flamethrower, and uh, when you equip it, same with uh, any other gun that I have over here, it's gonna give me a whole new set of skills, like this elixir gun that I currently have equipped, or switch to that, and it's gonna give me another whole set of skills. And I, this is also something that I don't really see a whole lot of in other MMOs I played. Um, most other most other games, you pick say the warrior class. What you see is what you get, and that's it. You get like this one solid set of skills and abilities and stuff. And especially in the case of uh, Final Fantasy XIV, um, if you're a warrior, the only weapon you can equip is the axe. Or if you're a if you're the red mage. The only weapon you can have equipped is uh I think it's a I think it's a rapier, and that's it. Not not here, and most certainly not the engineer. You know, you can pick this tool kit here. And again, a whole other new set of skills. And then if you look over here, and the engineer class has a tool belt. So Whatever skill you switch to here, we'll say this for example, it's gonna change it, change it here. But again, because of the current world boss that we're about to face, he'll often attack from far away, so I have to have a gun that's long range that can reach him. Because this flamethrower, it's it's basically a mid-range weapon, close to mid-range. And then, uh, do it. 
I'll, um, I'll head to where the, uh, boss is gonna appear. And then, and then, back to my mortar weapon again. Probably one of, if not the all-time favorite weapon in in any game. As you can see here, you don't doesn't require a target. In fact, you can't target anything with this weapon. And then um. I'll also need to explain a little bit on how combos work. Like, I'll, I'll take this for example. Um, if you see the, uh, it, a combo consists of two parts. The field and the finisher. I getting a bit of a fan club here or what? Uh, I don't think they know that I'm actually making a video. Lay that down. That's the combo field. See the brown heart? Remove condition. But again, combos consist of a field and a finisher. So, equip the flamethrower. And then, this is a healing ability here. Medic Gyro. Um, it's gonna heal everybody in the area, or it's gonna heal everybody around me. And again, if you look at the bottom, combo field water. And you look at this, combo finisher, is this one's called blast. It's gonna affect everything around me, everything in an area. Or everything in an area where I shoot this at. So there's my water field. And oh, didn't go off. Well, let's try this. There we go. So, combo fields, lightning, and this is a, this uh, ability here. It's both a field and a finisher. So, and whenever you see that, that means a combo went off. So, but anyway, um, I guess I can explain a little bit. I don't know. All these work. Um, this is uh, I'm a, my guy is a scrapper, so. And um, high caliber. This is a, it's a close to mid range fighter, so he gets extra crit chance when fighting up close. Um, if they're bleeding, every time I crit, I'm gonna bleed them. So it it kind of kind of feeds on itself. Same thing here. When you're uh, up close, when you're up close, you'll get a you'll get fury. No, this isn't a yeah. This is not a bleed weapon. I'm not a bleed kind of kind of fighter. But this is the main reason why I picked the firearms tree. It's for this. Um, to me, stability, it's one of the most important buffs you can have in this game. That and swiftness. And you basically have infinite stability with this. And then inventions. Um, it's it's got, got a little bit of healing, um, a little bit of buff, a little bit of uh, team support, and a little bit of defense. Man, that's loud. Whenever you use a heal ability, like this, I want to say that too. And then, when my health gets low, all of my heal skills are come off cooldown. And whenever I use a heal skill, everybody around me is going to get protection, so. 
And whenever I use one of these tool build skills, it's going to heal everybody around me. And as long as I have regeneration, I should have it up fairly often. More healing. And then any self healing I have, a percentage of it is going to be applied to people around me. Getting close to boss time, too. And then for the scrapper, um, the function gyros. This also gives stability, and it's uh, what I mentioned earlier. This this is both a field and a finisher. And then as long as you have stability, which, like I said, you have a flamethrower, so it's basically infinite. You're going to gain might, meaning you're going to deal extra damage. And it's going to give stability, the disability here, gives stability to everybody around me. And same here, using this, it's going to give super speed to everybody around me. And as long as you have stability, swiftness, or super speed, Again, I'm always going to have stability, swiftness, I'll have up most of the time, and super speed, not that often, but basically, I'm going to, I deal an additional 10% damage. And then for the longest time, and sometimes I do use this trade here, but that's only if, uh, only on, on enemies that that are going to deal a lot of disabling effects. But otherwise, I recently switched to this. And this is uh, this is what turns... This is what makes this function gyro into both a field and a finisher. And then, whenever I use, whenever I use a blast or leap finisher, it's going to give me uh, quickness, as well as uh, everybody around me. And... Boss time! Okay, and there's something I need to do here real quick. Uh, the game's gonna go mute. I'm gonna switch to the next album, and uh, it might not be appropriate for the game. I forgot that this this is a short album. Okay, so this is gonna be... I don't have time. Uh, Tone Stucco, World of Elevators. It, it's just a shuffle. And I'm probably gonna have to turn it up too, because it's a pretty quiet album. As you can see here, area healing, that's that's the combo effect. Okay, it's gonna go quiet for a moment. But yeah, like I said, I have to turn it up a bit. It's gonna get pretty noisy. And once again, as you can see, I don't have to tab target anything, so. This guy, however, I do have to target, fortunately, because the weapon I'm currently using, the Alexa gun, requires it.
get yet? My energy is diminished. I can't find my mouse. It's up there. I'll screw that up. And I think, um, last I heard, this particular boss, he received a health buff, so chances are, this fight might take a while. And I got hit with it anyway. Right shape here. There we go. Oh, we got some healing. What that means when the portals are spawned, you can't attack the boss until all the portals are brought down. I guess I'm the only one here. There's one other guy. right into it. I believe that's the last one. Yeah. Ten minutes left. Once again, I'll leap the wrong way. Hey, 
went the right way this time. Portals again? I probably got a bail. Yeah. This shit's taking way too long. And I'm kind of recording a video as is obvious, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get out of combat. Let me pick a quiet area. This is probably this video probably went almost 30 minutes. Yeah, 26, so kind of way over the limit. I was hoping to keep this like around 15 minutes or so, but didn't happen. So once again, this is my main. Can you see my dog? In case anyone's curious, I got the name good old Charlie Brown from when I first started playing this game. Um, just running a, running dungeons and stuff. Same thing I used, same thing I always did on, uh, you know, Final Fantasy XIV and WoW. But, um, unlike those other two MMOs, I got kicked out of a lot of them. I mean, you know, because unlike other MMOs, the dungeons in here, there's like, there's traps, there's ledges that you can fall off, there's narrow, you know, narrow walkways and that kind of thing and I didn't didn't know any of that go going in so again just kept falling off um and then eventually players other players getting frustrated with me and end up kicking me out of the group so I got a whole get out of here Charlie Brown we don't want you around kind of vibe so if you ever read any of those Peanuts comics you'll know what I'm talking about so I thought uh I'm about changing the name to good old Charlie Brown would be a would be kind of a cool Kind of a cool thing to do, so. But yeah. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and call it good here. Um, I still have another boss I, I have to go to, and unlike that last Shadow Behemoth boss, this one here, despite the fact that it's another big huge dragon, isn't probably gonna take nearly as long as that Shadow Behemoth does. But like I said, he got a he got a health buff. He got a health buff recently, so that's why it was taking so long. Otherwise, um, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.